I'm Victoria Willett, an Operations Manager at WayForth. As the nation's largest move management provider, we aim to eliminate the stress of moving by delivering done-for-you moving solutions. Today, I am here at one of the beautiful Axe Retirement communities to discuss how to downsize that pesky junk drawer and keep it organized. We all seem to have that classic junk drawer in our kitchen, but it doesn't have to be filled with junk. There is another way to cut back on clutter and reclaim this drawer as a tidy, functional space. You will first need to decide what does and does not belong and commit to it. Try to avoid throwing a bottle of medicine or crafting supplies in your junk drawer when you don't know where else to put them. When putting your junk drawer together, start by grouping like items together. All of the batteries go in one pile and pens in another. From here, you can easily see what is left and if any of it is genuine junk that needs to be discarded. For instance, if you have a cord that is frayed or you no longer have the device it connects to, go ahead and throw it out. Anything still in good working condition but you have an abundance of can be donated. Drawer dividers are a must have to keep everything organized. You can purchase these at stores like Target or Walmart, but you may even have things around your house that could serve as good drawer dividers like a utensil organizer or even a spare muffin tin. The important thing is that every category has a separate section so you can keep your drawer organized. Now that you've set up your drawer how you like it, it's important to regularly organize it. By setting aside just five minutes a month to sort through and purge items from this drawer, you will be well on your way to developing great organizational habits that I guarantee will carry over into other areas of your home and your life.